place all the evangelists. Let us move to the right side, all the evangelists. Evangelists. Praise the Lord. Yes. We are here for the interment. Interment. Right now, let us be in an attitude of prayer. As we shall take our hymn, shall we gather? Shall we gather? Shall we gather at the river where bright angel feet have trod with this crystal tide forever flowing by the throne of God. Yes, we'll gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful river. Gather with the saints at the river, the by the throne of God. Soon will reach the shining river. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we are gathered. Because God Almighty is good, we can bring our request to Him, share our concerns with Him, and cast all our burden and care upon God Almighty. Realizing that He is God and we are not. He is the father, but we are but his children. God is the shepherd, and we are straying sheep. Therefore, let us pray together. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, you are the light. Enlighten our hearts with the knowledge of eternal things. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the fire. Enkindle our hearts with your divine love. O Holy Spirit, you are the cloud. Shelter us under the shadow of your mercy, of your grace, your protection in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. The book of James chapter 4 verse 13 to 17 reminds us that life is the vapor that appears for a little time and then disappears. In James chapter 1 from verse 10 to 11, he had earlier compared man to a beautiful flower which blossoms for a while and then withers too soon. We are only here for a short season. No matter how long we live in this world, we will one day leave this world. O oh God Almighty, our Lord, Make us watchful and keep us faithful as we await the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So that when he shall appear, he may not find us sleeping in sin, but active in his service and joyful in his praise. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting in faith. We look for the coming of the kingdom. Let us remember Prophet T.B. Joshua's final words. Watch and pray.
Life must be treated with reverence. Because it's only God Almighty who determines the beginning and the end of life. For as much as it has pleased the Almighty God in his great mercy and sovereignty to take unto himself the soul of our dear father in the Lord and father Demitope Balogum Joshua here departed. We therefore commit to the ground his earthly tent as Apostle Paul describes the human body in 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 14. Earth to earth. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. In the unshakable confidence of the resurrection of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The spirit returns to God who gave it. And such as have walked with God here on earth shall dwell with him forever hereafter. Our dear one, Temitope Balogum Joshua, is now absent from the body but present with the Lord. Continuing to trust God is the only way to get ready for the things we are not ready for. O oh Lord, give us the grace to prepare for the last hour by living a good life. That we may not be surprised by whatever life brings. But be ever watching that when you shall come, when you shall call, we may with the bridegroom enter into eternal glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As the Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter 14 verse 13, I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Write, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. As it says in the book of Psalm 116 verse 15, truly precious in the sight of the Lord is the departure of his sins. Jesus' name. Right now, we shall take our next hymn in the sweet by and by, by our choristers, in the sweet by and by. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we shall see it afar, for the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there in the sweet. The melodious songs of the blessed, and our spirits shall sorrow no more. Not a sigh for the blessing of rest in the sweet by and by. We shall meet. Wow. 
Let us pray. Lord Jesus, as we are celebrating the life well spent of your servant, our mentor, father, teacher, Prophet Ibi Joshua, a man of vision. Give us the vision, Lord, we should have for our own lives. Lord, as we stand in your presence and viewers all over the world, we know that only the present belongs to us. Tomorrow belongs to the Lord, and tomorrow is mystery. Lord, as our hearts yearn for the dreams of tomorrow, give us the faith and courage to dream big as he did. Lord, give us the grace to live a life on purpose as Prophet Abijah did, by leaving our imprint in a positive way when you call us to glory. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. The book of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 21 to 22 says, Whatever you ask in prayer, believing, you shall receive. By the authority of the scripture, I proclaim a mighty blessing upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I proclaim a mighty blessing upon your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I proclaim a mighty blessing upon your future in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's holy name, amen, amen, amen. Amen. Over to the family. The pouring of the sun. Earth to earth. Ashes to ashes. And dust to dust. Earth to earth. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Earth to earth. Ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The disciples,
din so